Well, good afternoon and welcome to Overly Vast Nurseries on a blustery day in early spring. And that's why I'm gathered here inside one of our production tunnels to let you take a look at some of the plants that are really looking quite good at this time of year. And in a way, it's kind of appropriate to be able to talk to you about this particular plant because, of course, as you can see from the beautiful yellow stems that it has, this is a plant that really stands out now at this time of year and also during the winter time. In case you're wondering, this is Cornish Arctic Fire Yellow from Proven Winners, a really tough, hardy, durable variety that's developed from a native species that will grow in a wide variety of situations. It's really remarkably shade tolerant so that if you've got a shady spot this will do well there. It's also sun tolerant of course and will grow well in a sunny location too. Not only that, this is a plant that will grow in a wide variety of soil types as well. Particularly useful if you've got a clay soil or somewhere that's perhaps a little on the damp side, maybe even swampy and boggy, where, m where many other plants would struggle, you'll find that this absolutely luxuriates. What's more, this is a very hardy zone two plant. So anywhere within our region, that's the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic states, you'll find that this will not have any hardiness issues. And before I forget, I should also mention that this is a plant that is not normally bothered too much by deer. And that's important to say that it's not on their preferred list. You might have some stems nibbled a little bit occasionally, but really nothing much to worry about. What's really great about this is that because it's so hardy and reliable and durable, it'll make a plant that you could plant out, say, in a windier location. It's a very good, what I call a pioneer plant. That if you're just starting out a new garden that's fairly open and windswept, and you're wondering what you can put in as a kind of pioneer plant, well, guess what? This will do very well there. You can, of course, put it in as a single specimen. You could plant this as a really very eye-catching mass display. And as I mentioned just a minute or two, you could plant it as an informal screening plant too. It gets to about five to six foot high and spreads out a little wider than that, maybe six or so, six or seven foot wide. The big thing, as you can see at this time of year, is these absolutely brilliant, brightly colored, yellower stems. They're outdoors a little bit more yellow than they're showing up here. This is kind of a chartreuse yellow, I suppose you could describe it. And outdoors, it will be a brighter yellow shade than these particular young plants are. As I mentioned a minute or two ago, they're really bushy and vigorous and nice, strong, easy to grow plant that's really not bothered too much by any pests and diseases either. Now, the way I like to grow these is the old fashioned coppiced way, where I trim them back to the ground each year at about this time of year. You go in at the base of the plants and you cut all of these stems back to about two or maybe four buds from the base of the ground. And then what happens is that you're encouraging a lot of strong growth that will come out during the summertime going into the fall. And then in the winter time when the leaves fall off, guess what? You're left with these absolutely gorgeous stems that look very nice protruding up out of the snow look very nice if you're able to set them off against a dark green background and also this is a valuable plant to use in container combinations and also to use in floral arrangements too the stems are so reliable and so colorful that if you trim them back on an annual basis you'll find that you'll get lots of this really brightly colored stems if you didn't trim them back, they would still be have yellow tips, but the base of the plant will turn a kind of gray, brownish color and won't be as attractive as if you 
coppiced it back as they say. Incidentally, this is sometimes known as an ozer. Ozer is the old word for willows, which goes back to Victorian, oh well, in fact to European times, where they harvested willows for basketry and making wattle fences and things like that. They cut them down to the ground each year and then that encouraged these long flexible stems. And that brings me to another point with these, that if you're looking to create some wreaths perhaps, you'll find that these stems are really remarkably flexible too. So you can bend them and tie them into curves or even into a circular wreath if you wanted to. Now one thing I should quickly mention, and that is that these plants, if you don't prune them back, will produce little clusters of small white flowers in late spring. Those flowers, when they set, will then produce bunches of white berries like are shown on the back of the tag here. They are carried towards the latter end of the summer going into the fall. Personally, I'm not that bothered about that because the flowers are small and really quite insignificant and I find the berries, while they're nice, are not really carried in so much profusion and they don't last that long on the plant to make a big impact for me, which is why I opt honestly for the annual coppicing business. But if you wished, you could cut these back every second or third year, or in fact, you could opt for another way, and that is to thin them out a little bit. I really prefer to have lots of these gorgeous bright yellow stems gleaming to me out during the winter time, and that's why I opt to do the annual pruning. Lots and lots of ways that you can enjoy this fabulous plant. It was developed by Tim Wood at Spring Meadow Nurseries. He made, uh, collected some seed in 2011 from an old-fashioned, much stronger growing variety called Cornus flavolumia. And in, from that then he selected in 2016 this more compact, bushier grower. Looks absolutely wonderful in a wide variety of plants. Tough, hardy, durable easy to grow. I hope you get a chance to enjoy it in your garden. This is Cornus Arctic Fire Yellow.